Hi, and welcome to our video of Ramsgate in Kent, an English coastal town with a touch of history and plenty of charm. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels both home and abroad. Ramsgate is in the southeast corner of the UK in the beautiful county of Kent. In this video we're going to be discovering the marina, the harbour, the old town, the east cliff and the beach. So let's start with the marina then. Ramsgate is part of the St. Ports network, whose history dates back to the 12th century. Do you know why it has a French name? Let us know in the comments below. Actually, Ramsgate is a limb of sandwich, a little further up the coast, and the St. Port network increased beyond the original five. Today the marina is home to a multitude of little ships. Have you heard that phrase before? Yep, this waterfront played a key part in Operation Dynamo, the evacuation of Dunkirk in 1940, but more of that a little later. The backdrop to the marina is the beautiful red brick facade of the Royal Parade. In fact, it's not the only thing royal here. Ramsgate is the only royal harbour in the UK, an honour bestowed on it by King George IV in 1821. It's from the harbour's arm you get great views back of the Georgian, Regency and Victorian architecture so prominent in Ramsgate. Let's take a look at the Sailors' Church. It's no surprise a town steeped in maritime history would have a church dedicated to the seafarers. A simple but touching church built to offer spiritual guidance and more for the young apprentices. The fishing boats that operated out of Ramsgate were known as Smacks and the apprentices Smack Boys. It's now time to climb Jacob's Ladder. From here you have excellent views over the marina and harbour. But it's time to stroll on. Let's promenade. This way you can enjoy the mix of architectural styles and the fabulous views that have attracted a few famous names over the years. And there's some blue plaques to notable visitors and residents to help you. It's time to discover the best of the town. Once again you'll be amazed at the architecture and that Ramsgate is really a hidden gem. Did you know it looked this good? Vincent van Gogh, aged 23, lived in Ramsgate and worked as an art teacher. If you want to see where Vincent ended up in later life, check out the link in the corner. Now we picked some of the best shots, but it'd be fair to say there's some less polished areas of the town. A mixture of post-war reconstruction and unsympathetic town planning, but it's a real place, home to real people. This is St George's Church in town the last resting place of Jean Le Mesure. Remember him from Margate? We now take a hop, skip and a jump to Eastcliff. Here you can enjoy commanding views over the English Channel with the Royal Pavilion below which is now a large pub. This is another area built to promenade in the heyday of the British seaside town. So what do you think of Ramsgate so far? Leave us a comment in the box below, we really appreciate it. Now it's a flight of steps down to Ramsgate's rather fine golden beach. It 
It's along here you'll come across Ramsgate tunnels that started life as a way to bring the railway to the harbour and used during the Second World War to create a deep shelter network for up to 60,000 people. Now a trip to the seaside wouldn't be complete without fish and chips, would it? And then for those who enjoy a good museum, there's Ramsgate's Maritime Museum in the Clock House. And talking of history, who can forget Sundowner, part of the little ship's flotilla involved in the Dunkirk evacuations. History is all around you in Ramsgate. So with the sun going down, we take one final chance to admire the beauty of this historic seaside town. We hope you enjoyed our brief visit to Ramsgate. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. And if you enjoyed this then please leave us a comment and give us a big thumbs up. Thank you.